this is the largest funeral in history in, and in Egypt, Sheikh Muhammad Mitwali al-Sha'rawi, who was my teacher. I collected all his tafsir in one word document and now I'm lucky to translate all his Arabic YouTube into English to benefit you. Okay? So, please hear the translation of the great tafsir of Quran by Sha'rawi. Now, let us go over this huge uh, funeral. And this is not in Cairo. If it was in Cairo, it would be like 10 times that number. He has, it was in a village outside north of Cairo. I cannot tell, maybe 30 kilos or something like that. Uh, so let us hear one of these videos. Okay, Bismillah. <laughs> Quran is reciting indeed those who are close to Allah neither they are sad nor they fear those who believed and who were fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for them is the good glad tidings in this life and the life to come. عطوف ولذلك في الحديث القدسي الذي جعل الله فيه من أجا عباده المؤمنين يقول الله عز وجل يا ابن آدم لا تخافن من ذي سلطان ما دام سلطاني باقيا. As you can see, people in balconies, ladies and men, sheikhs, everybody walking in his funeral after reciting some Quran, you have, uh, you are hearing Sheikh Sha'rawi uh, reporting some this divine hadith which means the words of Allah, not in Quran, but the words of Allah reported by Prophet Muhammad saying, Allah, uh, the mighty, the glorified said, uh, son of Adam, don't fear. And my, uh, don't fear, and my power and influence never has an end. Allah is talking to his beloved, Worshipper. يا ابن آدم لا تخشى من ذيك وخزائن من آنا وخ. Don't fear poverty. I my treasure all are full. خزائن لا تنفد أبدا. يا ابن آدم خلقتك للعبادة فلا تم. I Son of Adam, I created to worship me, so don't be lazy. And don't feel that you are tired. Your, your limbs, your body behave and act and your heart rely on me. I created you for worshipping, so don't be sleepy. وَإِنْ أَنْتَ لَمْ تَرْضَ بِمَا قَسَمْتُهُ لَكَ 
فوعزتي وجلالي لا أصلطن عليك الدنيا Then Allah said in the divine hadith, son of Adam, I created you and I give you your portion of uh, provision. If you are pleased with this, good for you. If not, I will direct the dunya for you. <laughs> that you run in it like wild animal <laughs> then you gain only what I have determined of provision for you <laughs> but you are of course in the spirit of not happy with Allah astaghfirullah <laughs> I created heaven and earth and it doesn't get me tired. Son of Adam, don't ask me for the provision of tomorrow as I didn't ask you for the worshiping of tomorrow means like you are son of the day whatever uh, provision of the day Allah give you already food and drink look after you this day so you also worship Allah in this day <laughs> means don't have a great hope because you don't know if you are alive tomorrow right <laughs> Now, now Sheikh Sharawi on the in the last speech before he passed away, he is saying something very wonderful. الموت تأكد بأنك حتموت. Be sure that you are going to die. The death is like an arrow sent in your direction is a matter of time to reach you. That time is the only thing you don't know, but it is coming for sure. الموت سهم أرسل إليك بالفعل. The death is already an arrow was sent to you, directed to you. Indeed, it's already sent. And your age is equal to the traveling of this arrow to you. Allah does not pull out the knowledge from earth, but he pull out the knowledge will be able, so knowledge goes with them. إنما يرفعه بقبض العلماء. رحم الله من علمنا حرفا. الله هب مرسيون شيخ شعراوي هتوت أس ألوت. رحم الله الأب الصالح. الله هب مرسيون the good father of ours شيخ شعراوي. قدوة الصالحة ورحم الله أنواتا. who is a great model to follow and may Allah forgive all the de deceased Muslims male and female may Allah have mercy on Sheikh Sha'rawi wide mercy and reward for him what he presented for the service of Islam I add by explaining the verses of Quran in a marvelous way which is light put in his heart by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by the loving and the madad of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the fellowship of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as, as al ulama are the inheritance of the Prophet so he inherited the Prophet in tafsir وأسكنه فسيح جناته. May Allah land him in a white Eden. وحشره مع الأنبياء والصديق.
and uh, make him amongst the prophets, the martyrs, and the good people. The sincere وحسن أولئك رفيقا and their company is the best أنت نعم الأب ربيتنا على الطاعة you raised us to obey Allah سبحانه وتعالى وربيتنا على الولاء لله وحده and that we rely on Allah alone and we work for Allah alone not for money, not for fame show off just sincerely for Allah جزاك الله عنا كل خير علمتنا وفقهتنا وحنوت علينا فدر kind to us he didn't teach us for money he didn't amaze money anybody pray donation to you send it to poor or building schools or residence for thousands of students comes abroad from abroad to study Quran and Hadith and jurisprudence and Seer of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Jazakallah Allah May Allah reward you on our behalf Lishaarawi rahmatullahi alayh Mawaqif la tunsa min dhakirati al-Masriyin Imam Shaarawi has a lot of famous standing for the truth Inha kalimatuhu al-shahira liraeesi al-dawla One of them that he gave a warning and admission to Mubarak who was like corrupt and uh, told him if you are our fate will be patient for you for, patient if you are your fate you be patient too but don't seek leadership like for re-election because Allah makes the governor whom whosoever he wants and whosoever seek it personally he is not fit for it but when he is selected by the people and by the destiny of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will be guided on the presidency otherwise Allah will not guide him and he will be in trouble <laughs> وإذا كنا قدرك فليعنك الله على أن تتحمل كما رد على كل من يحاول التطاول على أرض الكنانة بتلك الكلمات الكنانة مصر الذي قال عنها رسول And anyone say anything wrong against the Quran, Hadith and the Prophet he defended very eloquently For example he said Egypt The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that the people of Egypt are in standing by to defend Islam up to the day of judgment like standing on the border like the army sitting on the border of a country anyone say like this Wahhabi they say everybody kafir kafir unbeliever unbeliever and they themselves believe in an idol in the six other the six other direction idol which they made it by themselves which in their mind change attributes of Allah which is crazy saying Allah created a throne and he sat on it like you sat on your chair so now anyone anyone doesn't say that he will be careful so Sheikh laughing on them how dare you do you say Muslim must Egyptian are kafir and they are land of Azhar of the Quran and and because they are like just idiot people take it to boot camp of two weeks wearing a shawl over their heads and telling people this bid'a bid'a you are kafir you are kafir if Egyptian are are not believer so who, who are the believer Egypt which exported the knowledge of Islam to all the universe even exported it to the country which the Quran and Hadith were revealed in it because all the scholars and in, in institutes in Saudi Arabia comes from Egypt but the Wahhabi are different 
of shoot. So what I want to tell you in brief, do you have a contact now with any teacher, any teacher who teach you like Sharawi? No way. So why don't you study Sharawi and leave all these guys who none of them can fit even to be a student for him, though he's open to teach everybody. So I recommend you very much to come to www.allah.com, www.muhammad.com, www.mosque.com and download the curriculum, download Sheikh Sha'rawi Tafsir. It is in Google. I need people to come and help me to proofread it because we are working alone. We are not getting help from anybody and we don't need money. At the moment, as you know, all the Muslim in Mecca, they were commerce trader, Medina, all Muslim, Muslims in Medina were farmers, only Ahl so far few poor, like 30 give and take. They were not working because they were poor. So now what happened? Now all Islamic organization turned to be Ahl Sofa, just collecting money, collecting money. This is a bad example. The Prophet never sent anybody to collect money to teach in Abyssinia or teach Medina Islam. Bukhari never ask for money, Imam Shafi never ask for money, they teach fi sabilillah and everybody has his own job, they hit the market. You have, this is the reason you have many ulama, they call the Najjar, like Sayyidina Noah, he was a carpenter, and Najjar means a carpenter, as a judge, the glass man, Al-Haddad, like the smith, you know, uh, metal man, and so forth. So, all our Western institution, you should teach Islam for free. And I challenge, I challenge uh, Hamza Yusuf to be like Sha'rawi. Turn your institute into free Quran, Hadith, Fiqh, Sira. Forget about philosophy. Imam Sha'rawi was not a philosopher, was a man who explained Quran and he teach people the hardcore Islam. So I challenge you to drop the accreditation. We don't need it. Who wants the accreditation from other than Sheikh Sha'rawi from Western Board of Direction? Let him shove his, his, uh, his uh, accreditation, his ass. Excuse my French. We don't need all the shit. We don't want to collect money from people. It should go to that they said business and the, the, instead of leaving business for non-Muslims, taking over Islamic countries, or leaving people, Christian making business and sp spreading Christianity. Millions of people becoming Christian in Indonesia. Ahmad did that said 20 million, and in Pakistan in millions. All this because of the stupidity and the education, spoiling the educational system in the West. All of it is screwed up, is spoiled. First, they teach Quran reading without meaning. Start. Sheikh Sha'rawi teach you the meaning. Okay? And you should learn it in your own language. This is the reason we are doing one or nine languages in Muhammad.com. So come there and get the best Sira biography of Prophet Muhammad for 900 years. Nobody will teach you that. No accredited will teach you that. Give you the quarter of Hadith of the Prophet, Riyadh al-Salihiyyat, Imam Nawi. Nobody will teach you that. Okay, nobody will give you Imam Shafi'i. Okay, nobody will give you Tafsir Sha'rawi. They are playing games like Yaqeen. They tell you, oh, we are trying to make a Christian happy with me. Imam Sha'rawi has a tape I, will I already translated it for you because I'm now spending the rest of my life just translating his videos in Arabic into English. He said, if the Christian are happy with you, I have bad news for you. Because Allah said, لَن تَرْضَ عَنْكَ الْيَهُودُ وَلَا النَّصَرَ حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ It means if they are happy with you, it means you count it with them. It means you screwed up in your faith. So, trying to jump in bed with them, Ahmad Didat didn't do that. You want to try to outperform Ahmad Didat? Or you tell me I have 200 uh, document research. What is research? Sahaba didn't do research. Sahaba said, Prophet said, Prophet said, 
Go, I have for you Musnad Ahmad, 28,000 to 30,000 hadith was only reported by Sahaba only. Each one said, I hear the Prophet, I hear the Prophet, said, the Prophet said, Rasulullah said, Rasulullah said. None of them play philosophy. And when philosopher time came like Imam Ghazali, he destroyed it and he came back to revive the religion, going back for dua and ibadah. And I'm going to release for you in the head of our site, what I call, in the head of our site, what I call uh, self-assessment. Assess yourself with a prophetic scale of standard of scale. Check, are you doing this? Are you following this? Which is good for you now and good for your first day in the tomb. So I'm going to, inshallah, release this soon. I'm working on it now. And I got very good, what do you call it, uh, like feedback. People are happy with it. All right? So what I want you, I want you to do, to pay attention, okay? To pay attention for the program I will be releasing for you. Insha'Allah. All right. And this program. You will enjoy it. It just. Here is the. Arabic of it. All right. And I call it the wall, the wall, let us go. Let me, let me, this is Arabic of it. Let me do translation of it and show you. So this is a program, like a wall curriculum like A3, paper A3 or plastic banner. And this is a production of Sha'rawi, Gumari, and Ghazali, and Razi. So you calculate your spiritual, okay, status. The transition is not accurate. I just did it automatic now. So it is the criteria, the skill of the Prophet. Number one, do you recite five daily prayer supplication after the prayer of the prophet do you do the supplication the daily supplication selection of the prophet he used to do do you read quran portion every day in your mother tongue to understand the meaning allah said in the allah said in quran that the hypocrite they remember allah a little do you repeat the names of allah and make sick a lot like 300 to thousand asking forgiveness astaghfirullah saying la ilaha illallah or 90, some of the 99 names of Allah or praising the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Then I, we are releasing like A3, you know, A4, A the regular photocopy picture, double of it is called A3 in size. So did you study the purity, prayer, fasting, fiqh, jurisprudence, alm, zakah? Did you, do you fast Monday and Thursday? Do, do, do you avoid the major sins? Okay. So these are things you rate yourself 1 to 10. I'm going to release it. And this will get you in a position to find out, are you wasting your time with the wrong preacher nowadays? You know, the wrong preacher? Or are you following people like Sha'rawi? I mean, it doesn't need a rocket scientist. You can tell this man is above, above everybody else. And Alhamdulillah, he has his videos alive and we have his Arabic Quran tafsir. I have all of it in one document. You can download it and we can put it in Google Translate and give you 80% accuracy and we can group together and proofread it and break it into small pieces. We already have translation of the Quran in topics, one topic at a time. 
So please come and visit and advise us to turn the site to be more uh, interesting because I cannot just do everything. I have limitation, you know, a man has to know his limitation. So thank you very much. Allah bless you. Jazakallah khair. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.